okay welcome back we are we are discussing about test execution phases and we have already discussed validate test environment we have also validated the test and now the final thing is to run the test and this is the moment that we are waiting for all the way in this video we are going to focus on how to execute the test all right so again what i'm going to do i'm going to do the best practices or key checks that you should be you should be looking whenever you are running the test so what are the checks that you need to uh, you need to consider so so first thing is that ensure that you know whenever you get a result that your workload spec is met workload spec is met so that's the first criteria and second thing is that ensure that you run the test in an in an uh, isolated network okay and then this is another common mistake that people do let's say we are going to start our test one so test one is running 100 users okay so that means we we need to we need to do a proper ramp up and then we'll have a steady state and we have a cool down all right so what a lot of people do they do not consider this ramp up and ramp down time and also whenever you are going to take the result ensure that take the result for only this interval because at this, for example if i take this interval from here let's say to to here i cannot guarantee that i have 100 users running okay so this is your users and this is a time okay this is a users so at this time we have at at this time we have at this time we have 100 users are running and at this time this is the end of end of the time on when all 100 users are doing something so that is what a lot of people do mistake that they do not simulate ramp up and ramp down time so ensure to simulate ramp up and ramp down all right and and let's say we are running one test now and after that we want to run another test that is of let's say 200 users okay so what we need to ensure that after this test is over we need to clean off all those log file clean off log files and if you have done any transaction to the database also reset the database database would be state on at which it was here before starting the fast run okay so clean up log files like for example web server log files like apache log files or application server log files or even database trace files those things you clean up and then you reset the db to the seeded database that means all those 50 courses which will be which were available before running the first test should be there before running the second test another very common and and important mistake that people do whenever they are they are running they are running the test on the same machine sometimes they write report so guess what is going to happen when you write report on the same machine you are going to consume some cpu so essentially this is not good for performance testing where we are trying to measure something this may be maybe okay if you are running functional test okay so do not write reports or analyze any results and so on on your on your load generating tools or your server so finally you must run the test two times that is my current practice so i need to i need to run two tests and these two tests should give me exactly similar performance number once i done that then that is the result that i report to my upper management see like you know, there are a lot of variables and here you are you are measuring something to the milliseconds all right it may not be like you know always you, you get the same result in the in, in the in the consequent run but we need to understand what was the different and we should be back it up basically i i run test until i got two runs where the performance numbers are similar so these are the these are the couple of uh, couple of couple of checks that i would do while running the test test execution never really finishes but it gives diminishing returns as you keep executing the same test so therefore use your own judgment when to stop and generally as i told you i stop after i got a two consecutive run that 
I can trust. Right? So this is the process of test execution. 